Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's the suave and suave <laughs> actor who's wowed us on the big and small screen for decades. And his momentum has continued as Evan Lancaster on OWN's hit drama, Ambitions. Let's take a look. <clears throat> I don't need your help to achieve my goals, Evan. As for your dream of the Georgia Governor's Mansion, Good luck making it come true without a Carlisle backing you. Our marriage means more than that to me. Prove it. Wow! <laughs> Please welcome Brian Wood! Wow! Yes. wow. Yes. Robin Gibbons is still crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Okay, so you guys have been taking us on a roller coaster this season with Ambitions. Mm -hmm. What have you enjoyed most about this season? And with the season finale being tonight, is there anything that you can give away? Um, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of messy stuff happening. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, the people are getting shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the best part is the people. Uh, Will Packer is one of the best producers you could possibly mm -hmm. uh, work with for. Mm -hmm. uh, and Robin. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have a lot of scenes with Robin, she's and amazing. it was my first experience working with her, and oh, I understand wow. why she is Robin Gibbons. She she's, is. she's amazing. Her energy, her positivity, yeah. her, her mm -hmm. persona, she just exudes. It can be stressful. She's doing three shows, mm -hmm. um, and uh, she's always in a good mood. She's always happy. She, she's always reminding us how blessed we are to yeah. have this, this career. And, you know, sometimes you can forget when you're stressed out, but she never does. Mm -hmm. So she's our fearless leader, and it's a blessing. That to is so good. Awesome. Now, as far as what I can spill, <laughs> so, somebody's going to die, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a parent. Yes, a parent with that big old gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Hopefully, it's you know, not me. You're right. <laughs> well, how has playing your character, um, Evan Lancaster, been different from some of the previous roles that you've played? Um, unfortunately, and fortunately, this one's uh, more realistic given mm -hmm. the current state of politics. That's like, true. if you watch the, mm -hmm. in the impeachment. Yeah. proceedings right now there's not much different mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as far as the tone and the timber of, of what's going on there and what's going on in our household where mm -hmm. you know there's the pharmaceutical <laughs> companies that are yeah. that are that are embroiled in, yeah. in this there's lawsuits that are happening and it's all about the, the fees that the lawyers are going to make and mm -hmm. not really what they're suing over yeah. and we're seeing a lot of that in in Washington yeah. Yeah. and uh, I think that's what Jamie Giddens, uh, Giddens and mm -hmm. Will Packer are trying to do Oprah they're trying to talk about real topical conversations um, in a way that's fun to talk about. Yeah, you know, people it, engage in politics before an election cycle without actually realizing you're, you're thinking about politics. Right. That's true. It's important. That's true. Yeah. Well, recently you just did an interview back in November with Atlanta Black Star. You talked about just being emotional and how that was advantageous for you during uh, The Best Man. They saw you crying and then yeah. you ended up being 12 more scenes. <laughs> yeah. But talk about the, the emotional presence that you feel that is needed for not only men in real life, but as you uh, acted out in your roles? Um, I think it's important to, to express emotions. A lot mm -hmm. of, uh, especially males, especially black males, don't always feel comfortable uh, sharing mm -hmm. their emotions. So that's why I love uh, actors like Sterling K. Brown yes. mm -hmm. uh, so much. Um, so especially with my scenes with Breely mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and my dad, who's, who's passed on the show, I want to show that vulnerability, that connection, that, that, that brings you closer to people and allows you to withstand the tough times in yeah. life. I lost yeah. my father mm -hmm. um, and it was me and my sisters. I have five right. younger sisters leaning on each other and I like to uh, show that in my relationship with Breely. And then as we move forward, you'll see it more with Robin. Yeah. You're nice. with your partner for a reason, through good and bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've seen a lot of bad. We'll get to see some good as okay, well. Good. Okay, good. Yeah. Look forward to that. I know I want to <laughs> ask, you know, people always ask me this question. It's kind of like, I'm not sure about it. You know, what do you prefer? Do you prefer um, the small screen, the big screen? I know as an actor, the good thing is when you have the variety and the options. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what is it that you are most inspired by, whether medium or character? Like, what draws you to a character? Uh, the, the narrative, if, yeah, it, mm -hmm. if it moves the needle in some way, and, and, and like I said, ambitions, we've never seen a, a family of means that didn't make their, their wealth from sports or entertainment. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a very specific, you know, go back to the Bernie Mac show, you go back mm -hmm. to, you know, every successful TV family that we've had, minus mm -hmm. the Cosbys, the lawyers and doctors, mm -hmm. is, that's what I grew up on, that's why I was so... Lock. I mean, I grew up yeah. on your family because I wanted to be just like that mm -hmm. family. And for better or worse, the Lancasters are another evolution yeah. of that family, you know, where we made our through law and politics. Yeah, and yeah. Um, you can't 
believe you can do it unless you see it. Absolutely. Yes, yes. that's true. And so, you know, hopefully the next Barack Obama, the next right. Michelle Obama, the next great lawyer we'll of color will be inspired by mm -hmm. seeing it. Beautiful. Absolutely. Beautiful. Indeed. Well, speaking of ambitions, um, you yeah. are very <laughs> ambitious outside of that. <laughs> yes. Um, you have a new app called The Snap Call. Um, break down what that is. You, you, this is something that you're doing with your business partner. Talk to us about Snapcall. Sure, it's an audience communication platform mm -hmm. uh, and to simplify it, it allows us to communicate, uh, share, um, and interact mm -hmm. uh, with our audience in more efficient and in mm -hmm. better way uh, than any other social media platform. Oh, wow. Simply, oh, really cool. you can go to you can log in with a Q code. Yeah. The Q yeah. code is oh, on my website, cool. brianwhiteonline.com. So mm -hmm. if you want to try it, go there right now, press the snap call link. And people have access to you directly. Opt in, and I will text you back. That is so cool. You'll have my phone I'm number. Going. Go to brianwhiteonline.com, <laughs> snap call me, and we can text all day. All day? All day? Yes. 24 hours? I love it. I love it. Give it up for Brian White. Yeah. We're so excited for you. Yeah. Please make sure you check out the season finale of Ambitions tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern on OWN. And don't forget the conversation always continues as this is Circle TV on all social media platforms. Yes. 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 <laughs> now you're going to start getting a lot of calls. Yes. <laughs>